Hello, welcome to another INFJ Ramble. Today, I wanted to touch on lone, loneliness. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I can't talk very well. But anyhow, I think I've made several videos on the topic just because I want to know it intimately so I can understand it. You know what I mean? I think once you allow yourself to understand something, you can actually embrace it and integrate it and make peace with it so that it no longer bothers you. I feel like this is one of the most, um, huh, how do you say, it's one of those life lessons that are just like the hardest to really understand and I get it. I've experienced an insurmountable amount of loneliness or feeling alone. Is it the same? Yes and no, you know? Hmm. I don't know. Um, like anything, there's two sides to the coin. Um, on one end of the spectrum, loneliness can be viewed from a very dark, oh, actually, retract, that doesn't make sense. Um, loneliness can be perceived as a form of being ostracized or not belonging or not being accepted, or not being understood, not having a connection. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think on the negative side of the coin, um, it, can, it can be experienced that way. But on the opposing end of the coin, loneliness can be embraced and understood and a very empowering tool to enhance yourself, to discover who you really are and what this is all about, and to, I guess, come to the realization that you, all you need is already inside of you. Do you understand? I've made other videos on this before. I don't know, like, if you've seen other videos, I keep revisiting topics so that I can kind of, like, like view it from different angles and things like that and no I've been watching I've been Netflix and chilling like literally that's what I do right because I don't really leave my house and I've been like Netflix and chilling and the this um show that I'm currently watching these people are like suffering from feelings of loneliness and I'm just like damn I guess because I've been through those progressives phases it kind of looks like um like I understand it but I also see that it's coming from a very low vibrational or low consciousness standpoint you know what I mean I've been there I've done it I totally get it but as you like progress through these different layers and levels of it you start realizing how loneliness or being alone is actually quite peaceful and quite refilling and refreshing because you get to kind of get away from all these external things and then you get to like focus on yourself and you get to like see yourself in your truest essence without being diluted you know what I mean I feel like when you go out in public, you got to like adjust yourself and dilute yourself and then, you know, in order to harmonize and you can't really, really be you, you know what I mean? And I'm by myself, I can be me. I can be like really deep and dark and, you know, there's no one here to like crucify me and I'm not, you know, imposing this energy upon anyone else. I can like... I can like observe it as it comes to the surface and I can like sit with it and understand it without, you know, having to like 
dilute myself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then I, I guess, I don't know. It's such a complex topic, really. And I'm only hitting, like, the surface. But, yeah. I think, like, sadness comes or arises when you're externalizing the feeling of acceptance outwardly into a person, into a experience, into an expectation, you know, and man, you just got to learn to stop doing that, you know, and start kind of like realizing that you are the only person that can validate your existence. You are the only person who can, like, love you, you know? And you are the only person that really needs that support that you've been looking for in other people or other things, you know what I mean? You need your support. You need your own validation. And you need to take care of yourself and validate yourself, you know what I mean? You can't get it from other people. And if you if you choose to um, use your currency and invest it in other people and other things, just know that, you know, nothing is permanent here. So eventually your investment will, I don't know, I'm not a banker, will, I don't know, go bankrupt or just like, fall short, you know, just give it to yourself, give it to yourself, I go through bouts of loneliness still, but then when I really think about it, or feel it, I am like, you know what, this is just, this feeling of loneliness is just a reminder that I need to go home to myself, I need to go home and take care of myself, and fulfill my needs and validate myself and know that I am worthy regardless of what anybody else thinks, you know? And then when I think of it from that standpoint, I just, you know, I feel whole. I feel at peace. I feel fulfilled. You know what I mean? But anytime I start feeling like these little pangs of like loneliness and I start kind of feeling sorry for myself, like, oh, how come they don't like me or how come this or that, you know, I just kind of like step back and I go, wait, I shouldn't be putting that type of pressure on anyone else. You know what I mean? And that is just a nudge for me to go home to myself because I need myself. You know what I mean? Yeah, because not everyone's going to like you. You know, you're not everyone's cup of tea. I've already said this in the past, and nothing is meant to last forever in this temporal world. So, you know, even though, like, you do meet someone or experience something, and it seems out of this world, you can't be so attached to it because eventually it'll leave, you know? And just enjoy it when it's right in front of you, you know, and then... Enjoy it when it leaves. Anyhow, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, that's cool too. Um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope it made sense. Who knows? <laughs> I just never know if my recordings make sense. But blessings to one and all. Have a great night. Amen.